Yes, madam, ladies, dolls, ladies, and gentlemen, my smiggles and butterfree. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing um, a furniture's Minecraft tutorial for some of you guys who are still having trouble like decorating your houses. So, um, I'm gonna show you like simple things such as like doing flower planters instead of doing like the actual flower pot. This is like another creative way to actually help decorate your house on the outside. Um, I'll show you how to make a barbecue like station, like almost like a barbecue uh, grill, if you will. Um, also, um, I'll do like a pinball machine, sort of. <laughs> I'll, I'll get into some things to help you guys out with decorations, so without further ado, I will turn this towards the TV, I don't know, okay, okay. alrighty, okay, so I'm gonna first start off with, like, the flower planter, so what you do is you take dirt, and you just put it down, and you put all around the outside of the dirt, um, some wooden trap doors, and if this is like in front of a building, obviously one side will not have a wood trap door because it would be up against the wall, so obviously if there is one that's up against the wall, you're not going to have four, you'll have three. And what you do is you put any kind of flower you want. And recently they've added new flowers. So you can get um, your normal dandelion yellow flower. Your poppy, which is the red flower. Um, you get blue orchids now. Um, Allium azurluets. Uh, Red tulips, orange tulips, white tulips, pink tulips, oxeye, daisy, you get the sunflower, you get lilacs, you can also have double tall grass now, um, also a large fern, they've added a rose bush, and they've added peonies, so you've got more choices in flowers. So you can use whatever you want, and I went with the blue orchid here. So there's that. Now I'm going to show you how to do the um, barbecue light grill. So what you do is you take three, maybe, no, four, take out four spots, put in stone brick, which apparently I have mossy stone brick. It really doesn't matter. Um, what I do first is I start off with dirt. Well, okay, never mind. We'll start off with the brick here. And then what we'll do is we'll put dirt here. And we'll put a stone slab here and I'll we'll have one over here too. So we'll take that dirt out and you will replace it with two furnaces here, okay? And what you do is you put like one of the fences on either side and on top we'll put a stone pressure plate here. That's all drawn. Okay. And then what you'll do is come behind here and Decorate right in here with the stone. And you can go up if you want all the way. So there you have like a little outside barbecue. So um, that's how you make that. It's like really easy. Um, let's see different furniture that you can do um, is making like a couch 
and we'll do that. So, um, go with you and to make a couch or a chair. Simple really, put as much length as you want to your couch here and add a sign on either side. You don't have to write anything, anything like that. And you have something that looks like a couch. So there's that, a chair, obviously, oh, <laughs> something. Obviously you just do like one Again, on either side, put a sign, and you've got a chair. So there's a couch, and there's a chair. Um, also, guys, you can always decorate your walls with picture frames and item frames. So you can have pictures or items hung up that you like. So I'm going to build like a little wall here. And there goes my um, notification alarm. Sorry about that, guys. But build a wall here. And obviously, w depending on what um, texture pack you use, is what you get as far as paintings. So you you can get different paintings. depending on which texture pack you have, it's all different, so it's not really the same. So there's some pictures there with the paintings. Obviously you can take uh, item, item frames. I know I know where they are, hold on. There they are. You can take item frames and put different items. So we'll put in like a diamond. So obviously you can go one, two, three, four, and put in diamonds here. You can also use like different things to make decorations with. Like for example, you can take ladders and even uh, wooden trap doors and make a weird like design so we'll go like one two three four and then we'll put like one one two You can do that for a decoration. So, there's like different ways to decorate your houses, guys. And there's a few examples of that. Um, okay, now to move on to making like a pinball machine. Okay, what you need is like any color wool you want. So, we'll use different wools here. Um, I'm going to go with a purple wool. And you need a power rail here. Power red rail. And you need a button as well. So, what you'll do is you go one, two, and you can put one there to put that up there so it looks like this. Also you will need a well you can use a painting or you can use an item frame it doesn't matter what you use so I'll show you like both ways with a painting and with a item frame so we'll do two here. Okay. Now what you do is you put the railing down 
on here and obviously it's going to be turned but once you put the buttons in oh maybe or maybe it's when oh they're too close together here <sighs> Now they should be far apart, so maybe it's when you put the frame in or so. Or maybe not. Okay, well put on here. Oh wait, yeah, you're supposed to put two down. Two railings down. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so you can use a painting to basically be the background, or you can use an item frame and put whatever you want. I'm going to go with a rose bush here just because. And so when you hit the button, the railing should actually light up which it kind of makes it look like an interactive pinball machine so it should help you get a little bit of a quirk to your house um tables tables are easily made as well um just do what the villagers do by making tables take an offense and put a stone or wood pressure plate down so you can actually go and put like little tables up so you can make your tables like that you can make them into like little side tables be like oh I'm gonna have a side table here so yeah yeah uh, okay uh, you can actually make your tables as big as you want them using this design as well. Um, let's see also. To, uh, make, like, I like to do chandeliers, so, oops, didn't mean to do that. So to make that, what you do is, I will need to make a ceiling for you guys, so. Hold on, I will make that and off. So you'll need fencing, the oak fence, and you'll need some torches. So obviously you get our torches here. Okay, now I'm gonna make a ceiling here, but I'm gonna make this a little bit taller. Just so I can show you and make sure I don't run into any of my furniture down below. Okay, we'll do the ceiling here, so, um, we'll just stop just to, you know, just randomly. It doesn't, you don't really have to do this, but I'm doing this so I can show you guys how to make a chandelier. So this helps also decorate your house and it gives you lighting so you don't have to worry about monsters spawning in your house and everything. So, um, this gives you like a different way to make a lamp or a light system. So, you don't always have to use glowstone or anything like that. So, okay, what you do is you take your wooden fence here and you bring it down to however far you want it and then you take the wood fence and you go all the way around so that it has like four little watches here you know four little hearts that are sticking out and what you do is you put your little torches on top of these four points and there you go you have a chandelier it helps with decoration um you can make them as 
far down as you want. You can make them really short so they're closer to the ceiling. So they'll be like to you, like this. So you don't have everything running all into one another. Um, also, you can do like the lamp posts like the villagers do, which is normally for like the outside. And I'll come over here again and I'll make another smaller chandelier. So we'll go like this. I just feel weird that I don't have one over here. <laughs> okay, so you can do a lamppost like the villagers do, which consists of the fence, wool, and the torches. So what they do is they'll make a pole out of the fence here. They'll put wool on top, and then they'll put torches all the way around, and perhaps one on top. You can use this as a way to be a street light or a lamp post or whatever. You can make them as tall as you want, as short as you want. <laughs> um. Let's see. So this is like a little bit of furniture and decoration designing for your house. Um, you can also make your own version of a um, display case, which I guess I'll show you how to do. So what you do is you take. Okay, you will need, uh, you can use stone walls if you want, you can use obsidian walls, I prefer to do stone, all, like, for part, you'll need glass, wherever that may be, it's in here. I, I use the glass instead of the glass panes, but it's your choice. Um, you will also need a beacon here, and you will need some of like the masks and whatever, like creeper mask or creeper head, you know, a zombie head with their skull. Okay. So what you do is you have a wall, and say you want to make a display case for your house just so that you have something to show off to your friend, to make it look like you know what you're doing and you know how to decorate, things like that. Okay, so we'll build our wall up here. And I'll connect this to the ceiling. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll go down one layer here. Okay. Okay. So you start with the beacon. You put it against the wall. And what you do is you design where you want the how far the glass to go out and so once you do that you make like an actual power here I think that's a little too far too much but oh well it doesn't really matter okay And fill this up. Now, be 
before you actually completely encase this, what you want to do is actually put down your um, however high you want these to be up on the wall. And you can sit here and decorate with the different masks. Well, depending, because sometimes it does not like you to work with it. Gotta be careful on how close they are. Doesn't like it right there. Okay, fine. with your glass. And basically you have your own display case in your home, so it's like you can look but you can't touch. the cow in front of the actual barbecue. Okay. So here's a display case for you guys. And some chandeliers and some other different decorations that you can use. Um, let's see. What else do I know how to make? Um, also have secret chests hidden away so that no one can find them only know you know where they are and everything and what I like to do is I like to go like two places down and like any kind of dirt sand whatever put your chest down and what you want to do is take whatever dirt you had taken out originally, which mine was sand, and you want to put it right on top so it's concealed. No one knows where it is but you. So, what you can do is one way to kind of keep it secret is you can mark around it with like flowers or something like I like to put like, um, well, I liked to make farms around mine so it didn't look suspicious 
and you know obviously if you are like me you like to make sure that only you know where your stuff is and doing like any kind of garden like thing it be easy to get people confused because like you know no one thinks anything about farms you know they just think you're planting things just randomly so whatever floats their vote and whatever they think just to keep them off your case about what's where um let's say I also like to hide a lot of my stuff in walls too so that's always a choice. No one knows where it is but you. And you can mark them in different ways that don't bring any suspicion to you. Uh, let's see. Well, that's it for what I've got for you guys for furniture tips and furniture ideas that you can do whatever floats your boat, whatever you want to choose. It's all up to you. I hope this helped you guys a little bit. See, I'm still learning, so we're kind of in the same boat. But, uh, oh, I'm sorry guys. I had to stretch. But, anyhow, I hope that helped you guys. It helped me when I was learning how to do this stuff too. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope it helps. I love you all so much. My birthday is coming up. I'll be 23. Yay! It's this Thursday. So I may or may not make a video celebrate my birthday and I hope whoever else has a birthday happy birthday to you guys um, happy anniversaries for whoever has anniversaries and I will see you guys next time we'll have more fun so I love you Mwah. bye